In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create this highlighted area here for the zoom that when we zoom in, it will hide and when we reset it, it will show back here knowing that what area we're going to focus on. So let's start to look how to do this. So in this video, we're going to do or continue on and this is part two of how to create the zoom button. So, so far we have this here, like these options here, but of course we would like to highlight this area so we know where the zoom would be and that is based on this video here on how to create a zoom button for the donut chart and if you don't want to follow that video check out the source code here on patreon and of course got a question put on discord so let's start to work on our code so what i'm going to do now is we're going to create a plugin and our plugin should be well we have the options here Make sure we put it here at the comma and say here plugins and then we can say here this will be the zoom area copy that and then what i'm going to do here is create a plugin like that zoom area comma uh, comma and then we're going to say when would we like to draw this so we want to draw those lines and we say here uh, after the data sets has been drawn data sets draw chart arc and plugin options then no that is not what i want to do like that then we're going to say a constant and this constant will do an object destructuring and then we're going to say a chart once we did that, I want to go in here, and then what we're going to do here is the CTX and the data. We want to draw on the canvas, and we want to have the data here. So, what I'm going to do now is start to draw. So, what I want to do is just create a, or just imagine a line here. This area here, that we just highlight this zoomable area. So, what we can do here is, uh, let's see here, first of all, I want to get the center because to draw this line I need to use some of I need to have the coordinates but I want to get this coordinate here in the center and from there on we will calculate everything so I'm going to say here constant I'm going to just put in here the X center which you can find if you do console log in the chart dot get data set meta index zero data index zero and then dot x all right so that's number one for the y this will work for any data point that you have so for the y is the y center same logic this is a built-in functionality from chart.js so that's why we are able to do this so now what i want to do next is start to draw the item i'm going to say cdx translate and what this does is re position the zero point right now the zero point is here but i want the zero point in the very center here so we can easily draw lines we calculate the position nicely so what i'm going to say is the x center and the y center are now like that there you are so now i need to do or before i even do anything else i need to say here cdx.save to save the default situation above very important or else you get this weird effect and here i'm going to say cdx that restore to undo whatever we just did or basically undo this translation putting back the zero point here but right now the zero point is here and how can we test this well let's do here cdx that fill rectangle just to show you we put a 10 10 10 10 and then our x and y corners we just put it on the zero and the zero here so it will be a rectangle with 10 pixels left and right or height and width and you can see here it starts in the center here and then goes to the right side and down all right so this works now we can start to draw the item but to draw the item we want to have this point going up here to get this point here or whatever here we need to use some advanced functions to calculate this angle or not even the angle we need to calculate the end point on the x and y so how many pixels to the left and the right we need to go and how many pixels up and down so what i'm going to do here is well let's start with the basics number one i'm going back here up and then or let's do this first here so ctx 
dot move to to get the starting point which is zero zero that's our starting point then what i want to do here is i want to get a line two so i say ctx dot line two and this line two should be going here up well i can say here maybe 200 or well let's say 100 to the left and then 200 so if i save this let's hide this and then we say here ctx dot stroke to draw that line let's see what we get and most likely no sorry this keyboard is not working properly save refresh uh let's see what is going on here ctx move to there we are save all right, so you can see here, this is of course wrong because this is the zero point. So I need to go in a negative position up or at least up should be negative. So let's say here negative, there we are. And then we need to go here. If this is zero, this is negative of zero. So let's say here minus 10, it's something like that. All right. So you can see this all works, but this should not be done with an estimate like this because we have no idea. This needs to be soft coded. So let's work on soft coding this. So to do this, what I need here is basically the, uh, well, let's see, we need to have the coordinates. We need the inner and outer radius, I guess. So what I'm going to do here is a constant outer radius will be equal to, and we're just going to grab all of this, and outer radius here. So this here, we'll calculate from this point all the way to the outer edge of our donut chart. So what I want to do then is I want to even go further by saying maybe here, plus six pixels additional. So now if I have this outer radius, that's number one, but we're not done yet here. So what I need to do next is use a function for this or well we need to have the starting angle as well starting angle it's all in this built-in function so i'll just come to copy paste this so you don't have to do anything all you say here is um start angle let's copy this put it in there and probably we'll be needing the end angle as well which you can find as well in there you say here and angle there you are all right, so once we have these, this number or the starting angle, which will basically start in here, will be uh, the most important one because it will start from the zero point or zero data point, which is Monday. So it will calculate what is the starting point of Monday. That is what we're going to use. So what I'm going to do here then is the following, because this here needs to be soft coded with a calculation and logic. So what I'm going to say, here to do that I'm going to say a constant so we say here constant and for this constant what i want to do here is the x start because we need to come with the x starting angle and what we're going to do is we're going to say here we get the outer radius multiplied by math dot cosinus and then we say here the cosinus will be based on the start angle this will give us the right coordinate calculating here somewhere the same we will do for the y but not cosine then we use sine for it or sinus sorry so say here and this will be sinus there we are now we have this we should have now the value here let's save that and see if this works as expected there we are that looks quite nice so what i would like to do here then is move this angle a little bit further so what i'm going to do here because this will be exactly on top of it but that's let's give it a little bit more space so what i want to say here for the starting angle i'm just going to deduct this with 0 0.06 giving it maybe two or three degrees or well i guess in this case it's way more two or three degrees well this is probably more than five degrees of difference. All right, but that's all right. I'll accept that. So the same we could do here, but then of course plus. So we do here and then you can imagine what will happen later on here. So we're going to do the same thing here, but I want to make sure that this has this nice curved effect. So that's what we're going to do. 
So to get the curved effect, we will not use this. We'll be using another trick for that. What I need now is a ctx dot arc. I'm going to draw an arc, and the arc will have the x, y coordinate, the radius, the radius, and then what we have more, we will have the starting angle, and then we have the ending angle, uh, end angle, and then we have your false because it will be not clockwise. If, or sorry, this is clockwise, not counterclockwise. If it's counterclockwise, set it on true. All right, so this we have, this we have. The radius is the outer radius that we have here. Put that in there. And this one is the center that we have assigned here. That is zero, zero now. Basically, this here what we have because the translate. So if I do this, say refresh, you can see here now, we're moving there, but I have a feeling that's very, very hard to see. So let's do a plus. There we are. So once it zooms in, it zooms in this area. But you can see here, I don't like this. If I reset this, this doesn't make any sense. I think it is not even, con it's connected to the wrong value. It should be connected to the last one. If I do a plus, it should be connected to this end of the orange. So how do we get that? Uh, then we have the end angle here. You could say maybe six or no, that's not six. It should be five. So once we have five save, then we do a plus. There we are. You can see here it's being clipped off a bit, but that's all right. We can fix that if necessary. Although I don't think it's necessary if you zoom in, this should not even be there. That doesn't make any sense. It should be only when you reset it that you have this area here. So let's connect this and make sure we soft code this one here. Of course, there's a quick note. I'm assuming here in this case that the last value will be the highest value. So that's the assumption here. If not, you have to probably look at what would be the right way to do it. So what I'm going to do here, uh, constant, let's say zoom data that we want to highlight will be the data. That's why we have the data object here. Dot data sets index zero. And then we can say here dot this keyboard is not working. All right. Dot data dot length minus two because we want to skip this uh, the black one and as well get the last one which is the orange value there we are so now we have this we should have it zoomed in there we are plus Tuesday I'm not sure what is happening here hold on all right, let me double check. All right, you can see it was doing a bit weird. Apparently, it's when we do this here, it sees only two because of our length equal. Should be minus two. There we are, zoom. Specifically, till that area. All right. So what I want to do is close this. So what we can do here is, uh, I realized I forgot one thing. We say here, ctx dot, begin path. Close that. And then we're going to say here, ctx dot close path to create the final part of the shape, say refresh. Here we are. Now we have this plus. We'll cover up that nicely. And I, in my opinion, we should hide this when we zoom. And if you want to fix this, if you want to keep it in there, you could do the following. Let's do that one as well right away. Um, options. We're going to say here lay, um, layout. And I'm going to say a padding, maybe 10, comma, save, refresh. Now, if I zoom in, look at that beautiful. But of course, I don't want it. I want that hidden. So what I'm going to do here is use a trick. So what I'm going to say here, this we're going to call this hoisting. And we're going to get the hoisted value. So we're going to say, let zoom in will be equal to zero. <clears throat> Sorry, will be equal to zero. So by default, if it is zero, it means it is not yet zoomed in. And if that is the case, what I want to do here is do an if statement, if not zoomed in. So basically if zoomed in equals strict zero, I want to do this. So oh, this keyboard, all right. Cut it out, put it in there. 
let's save them but of course what I want to do as well here let zoom oh we have the function here, here what we could do here is the following we have here to zoom in we're going to say here zoomed in equals one if we're clicking on the zoom and then of course if we are resetting the value set this on zero save refresh zoom in hidden reset then it will show again and there we are so now we have this item that maybe helps you a bit more to clear out this we could do it even behind there whatever you want give it a color should make this clickable maybe i think this is quite decent there should be still one final thing that i would like to do rotating this and it's only showing the items that do matter and everything else should not show at all so basically the black value should be gone and this here should have this nice rotation or going here to there so it's like a half slice instead of a full circle because it's like zoomed in on the area here but that will be probably a part three